when a top predator enters a system or leaves, it can have um, whole ecosystem level changes. A new report from the University of Manitoba is raising concerns over the arrival of a new subspecies of killer whale to our Canadian Arctic and the potential negative impacts that the apex predator could have on the existing ecosystem. The Arctic has not had large numbers of killer whales um, ever as far as we know and now there's a growing population so there's scope for really wholesale ecosystem level changes. As rising global temperatures lengthen the ice-free season in the Arctic, Associate Professor Colin Garraway and research technician Evelyn de Grief identified a genetically distinct subspecies of killer whales had moved into the region, and their arrival raises major concerns over the long-term survivability of existing Arctic whales like belugas and narwhals, who had previously been able to find shelter under the thick northern ice. But with their icy protection melting away, the already shrinking population of Arctic whales are more vulnerable than ever before. Um, as the ice melts, killer whales are getting a, a big buffet of new food sources, and these food sources um, are slow, don't know quite what to do with killer whales, so they're kind of easy targets. In addition to threatening local populations of marine mammals, the arrival of the ocean's top predator also risks the sustainability of indigenous communities that call the Arctic home. This is an issue because many northern communities rely on traditional harvest of Arctic whales um, as, a, as a really important food source and um, cultural practice. In Winnipeg, Kurt Black, City News.